Hi, I'm Katie Most. I'm the production designer for The New Adventures of Peter and Wendy. Welcome to Behind the Pixie Dust. I'm hoping to show you guys a little bit more about what I do as a production designer, uh, and also teach you how to make some of the props and set dressing that we'll be using in season two. Production design always includes a little bit of magic, so Pixie Dust seemed like an appropriate thing for this show. Hope you enjoy it. So today, uh, my guest is Kyle Walters. What's up, everybody? You know him as Peter from The New Adventures of Peter and Wendy. I, I googled for you. I googled manly crafts. Manly crafts yeah. for me? Yeah, for oh. you. I was like, no, oh, okay, let's see Let's see what the internet has to offer. And we're going to make coasters with uh, comic books on them. Yes! Seems perfect both for you and for Peter. I know. It's a, it's, a, it's a very fine line. Yeah. So anyway, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is something to turn into a coaster. Um, you can buy like a pre-made coaster from, uh, I got that from the dollar store. Uh, it, it's good, you, it's a tile, it's pretty simple, but I actually wanted a round coaster, so I went with the most manly option possible, which is an electrical socket cover. It comes with a nice little foam ring, and it's it's round and that's a, I mean, this is like super manly. Yeah, it's from Home Depot. I mean, that's really, that's a man craft. Right, yeah. right there. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need comics. Comic books! Comic books! I ask people on Twitter for uh, green costumed or skinned uh, superheroes or supervillains, and that's what this was for. Um, I, I I did I did pretty well. We have, you know, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, She-Hulk. She-Hulk's really good right now. You should pick it up. One of the tools we need uh, is Mod Podge. And for this, because it's coasters, it's the outdoor Mod Podge. Or they have dishwasher safe Mod Podge, which I don't believe, because it's, I can't imagine it's washable. but. Outdoors should be fine. It, it uh, will be waterproof. Um, if you don't know what Mod Podge is, it's a glue and sealant. Uh, you can buy it at any craft store. Um, just ask. Scissors for cutting out the comics. Uh, a paintbrush. I always use a crummy one because you don't want to screw up a nice paintbrush if you're using glue. And an X-Acto knife. So I have a frightening question to yeah. ask you. Are we, gonna, are we gonna do something that destroys these comic books? We are in fact going to destroy these comic books, which I'm a little sad about. It was, it was one of those things where I ended up reading a lot of comics in preparation for this craft, which I, I don't regret. Right. There's no part of it that it was a problem, but... Um, but now we have to destroy them. Yeah, so basically, um, find things that you like. Um, I bought actual comics. You can do printouts from things that you've seen online that you like. You can use pretty much anything. Magazine ads. Exactly. So let's start looking through and, Great. and pick up things. Love it. Well, Peter Pan's favorite hero is the Green Lantern. Excellent. He often wears that shirt underneath the rest of his costume. Yes. Um, I like that one because it had Lady Green Lantern. Yeah, this is also... a chick, huh? Okay, cool. I'm yeah. going to go with this one. All right, awesome. Um, and then I think I will grab Martian Manhunter, which was highly recommended by multiple viewers. You know that the size of your coaster is approximately this big. So you just know you want to cut something that's bigger than this. Okay, so... You actually want me to cut into a comic book. I do. I know. All right. This is the other reason. A lot of comic stores have a bargain bin. Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world to, to find your favorite comics in that bargain bin. Boom, cut it out. Very nice. Once you have your comics selected, uh, you'll just want to draw a circle around the coaster. Um, I probably would have it this side down because I think it's a little tighter than plastic, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I'll take a pen. Excellent. Um, when you cut out the circle, eventually you're going to actually go a little bit inside that line. So it doesn't have to be perfect. You can use a pen, you can use a pencil. It doesn't really matter. All right. Uh, so the next thing is just cutting out the circle. Um, if you feel comfortable with the X-Acto blade, you can use an X-Acto blade to do it, or you can just use a pair of scissors. So you'll want to go in probably, I don't know, a quarter mm -hmm. of an inch, an eighth of an inch, yeah. Because you want to have it sort of sit on the edge of the coaster, and right now you're on the outside. Okay. Um, but again, if you don't want to do an X-Acto blade, you can just use scissors and, and cut a circle. And you should always put the caps on top of your X-Acto That's, That's true. Where did, the, where did the cap go? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know where the cap went. Um, <laughs> just one second. Excellent. Right. No injuries. Uh, the next step is actually Mod Podging uh, the, 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 the plastic coaster bit. You just want to cover this with the Mod Podge. Um, any, any Mod Podge tips? Yeah, uh, less is more with Mod Podge. Oh. Oh, whoops. <laughs> so just spread that around. It's, it's, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right. So this surface has been su uh, sufficiently glued. Um, it's time to put the nice little circle on on, on our coaster. I'll let you do that. All right. Now, y if you cut a slightly bigger uh, bear or uh, border, you can get a nice little white round around the coasters. But this actually looks pretty. 
good. Yeah, right? Uh -uh. That's what I'm saying. I'm pleased. I cut that. You cut this. It's very good. So uh, what you want to do as soon as you put the Mod Podge on, you want to push out all the bubbles from underneath the uh, the comic. It, you know, it gives it a more finished look. You can use a credit card, you can use a ruler, you can use a, like a, a roller or paintbrush. But so the great thing about Outdoor Mod Podge is that it is waterproof. That's the whole point. So you use it as a sealant. You're gonna wanna do a few layers. We can start with our first layer and then we're gonna use a little bit of movie magic to make this happen. Very exciting. Thin layers are good for this. Good. <laughs> Don't worry that uh, it looks like you can't see anything. That will dry clear. When I did mine, you know, earlier at home when I was testing these out, um, I used a brush like that and left the grains in because I actually think that's kind of cool. It, it gives it a little bit of sheen and shine and it, it's kind of cool. Um, but you can also use a sponge brush and that actually gives you a smoother finish. All right, so you're gonna wanna let your, your coaster dry. Um, it'll get glossy and then you'll you'll put another layer. You can, you know, play around with what you, what you want in terms of number of coats, in terms of- Three and a half. Three and a half, yeah, I actually think that's a good number. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I mean, that's basically it. The drying time is pretty much all you need to do with this. Um, you'll test it out. I mean, see, put a coaster down on it. If it seems like it's, you know, dissolving the glaze, you might want to give it a little bit of a, uh, you know, a wait. I'm, I'm going to let this one sit for a week and a half. That sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Through the magic of movies. I have these two that I made earlier. Um, oh, yes. One with She-Hulk and one with uh, Green Arrow. But she's kicking back. Yeah. Like she just made some awesome coasters. Uh, so you'll see these during the second season of The New Adventures of Peter and Wendy. Yeah. Probably in Peter's apartment. One Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. It was super fun. Katie's pro tip. To be an extra super geek with this craft, you can use your comic themed tumbler on top of your comics coaster.